Hello and welcome to a brand new series. We are going to be playing Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness. Vanilla Victoria 2 this time, no mods. I do like the New Nations mod and we'll probably go back to it or another mod at another series, but for now we're just going to be playing Vanilla. And I said at the end of the previous series that I would probably go back to a civilized nation in Europe, and that is what we're going to do. But we're not going to go with any of the larger ones. We're going to start as Sardinia Piedmont here and eventually, hopefully before too long, form Italy. Uh, you can do this obviously as any of the Italian nations, even the very tiny ones, but it's a lot more difficult. So the usual thing is to pick either two Sicilies, I think, or Sardinia Piedmont. And I've never done it as Sardinia Piedmont before, so that is why I have chosen them. So, at the very start of the game, Austria has entered an alliance with Bavaria, which is fine. Uh, let's take a look at what we have going on here, though. We obviously have um, this land here, but we also have the island down here. In terms of our regions, most of our land is the region of Piemont. And for Orgios, what we have in there is mostly fish and fruit if we want to get industrialization started. We're probably going to want to get a winery up and running as soon as possible. We start with uh, not great literacy, but certainly better than if we were an uncivilized nation. Um, this, this is our highest population region. We probably want to start with getting clergymen here to get our literacy up further. Let's take a look at our budget. We can probably put our taxes right up to maximum for now and reduce spending elsewhere. Our first order of business is obviously going to be to become a great power. Uh, we'll leave these as they are for the moment. We'll see how our economy starts to develop at the start of the game here. Uh, for our first technology, I think we'll go for stock exchange for some extra tax efficiency. We are an absolute monarchy, which means we have no elections, and we can appoint whichever party we want to. We obviously only have the three standard parties to start with, because other forms have not been invented yet. And let's check out how we are doing in terms of the other great powers. We are friendly with France, they're probably going to sphere us, which is absolutely fine. We can ally with them, and they can protect us for at least the start of the game here. The way we're going to form Italy is not militarily, though you can do it that way. We're going to try to get all of the other Italian nations in our sphere of influence. We are going to have to go to war against Austria for uh, the regions of Lombardia, I think, and possibly Venetia and maybe South Tyrol. I'm not entirely sure. I think we actually now maybe we just have to get Lombardia, that's the only one with Italian cores. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go to war with them for that at least. At some point, though that will probably be after we become a great power. We can see the Avanti Italia, uh, excuse me, Avanti Italia decision here. Which, it does require us to have all core provinces of Italy either owned by us or in our sphere of influence. So... It'll probably be a while before we actually get to do that, but hopefully not too long. So, in order to become a great power, we're going to probably start by, first of all, developing our industry, which we, as mentioned, probably want to get started in Piedmont with a winery, I guess. We can't afford to do that yet, but we'll get that taken care of. And also, through military conquests, we probably want to get a foothold in Africa for our eventual colonization. Tunis is a pretty good target for that, we'll probably go there first. They have decent populations and um, not any particularly great orgios, but they're also close, which is also helpful. Uh, we did put our spending down there. Okay, I think we can unpause here and let's just start on speed three for a little while to see how our economy looks probably pretty bad at the start of the game. Let's get our troops together here. And we are actually making money for the moment. Or maybe not, I spoke too soon. 
Well, let's see, we can probably afford to put our tariffs up a bit so that we can actually make some money. We probably want to put them back down later. So we have some guards and uh, unfortunately no cavalry units that actually have recon value, which is what would help us with sieging faster. So we might want to build some of those, assuming we have the ability to do so. Uh, yeah, we'll get one Hussar building. And if we have the ability to build some more navies, we might want to get a few more clipper transports. Let's do those for the moment. Um, these provinces over here, we will have the ability by decision to give those to uh, give those back to France in exchange for a reduction in infamy and a gain of prestige, which we might want to do at some point. These are. Let's see, coal and wheat, but decent populations, and Nice is also wheat. So who knows whether that will be a good idea at some point, but that decision is available to us. Let's see. Well, we're getting everything but the luxury clothes we need for our Hussar. And we are getting the Clipper Convoys, okay. Well, I think we should probably get started immediately on justifying our war against Tunis. We have established Protectorate with a maximum of 10 infamy, which is going to be fine. Hopefully we won't get 10, or even most of 10. And hopefully our Hussar will get built so we can use it to get occupations done faster. We will at least have the extra Clipper transports, I think. Yeah, we're apparently not getting the luxury clothes we need. We can go to speed 4 for the moment. If France manages to sphere us pretty soon, we should be able to have better access to um, goods on the international market, at least from other members of France's sphere, which will hopefully get us the uh, materials we need. Looks like they are working on doing that. Uh, let's see if we can immediately, though, get any alliances with any of our neighbors here. We'll get Parma and... Modena, perhaps? They are currently in Austria's sphere. We're obviously going to have to take them out if we want to stir them ourselves later on. Hey, we would also like to have a leader if possible. We're going to need, uh, let's see, 20 leadership before that happens. We are at 13 and we're gaining 2.8 per month. Okay, so shouldn't be too long before we can get a leader. I don't expect that we'll actually have too much trouble against Tunis, even if we don't have one, though, because they probably aren't much of a military powerhouse. They have six brigades. Which actually is one more than we can transport over at a time, but I think we should be fine anyway. So we got our CB for, or rather we didn't get our CB, but we got discovered for very little infamy. Now we have the CB. So I think we'll go ahead and declare this immediately. Um, declare. We probably don't need to call in our allies. It's going to cost us 85 war scores, so probably we're just going to have to occupy them completely, and our Hussar still has not started building, so... We're going to have to go without it. So we have five transports, let's see. Uh, we might just take infantry. These aren't going to help us siege. Um, actually, no, we'll take one cavalry. Alright, so you can get on the boats.
And we probably should start spending some money on our troops. An age of liberalism. While Napoleon and his armies have been defeated, the fundamental ideas of the French Revolution have not been. In Germany, the old crowns of the Holy Roman Empire have been wrought to naught, and the feudal contracts of old replaced by Napoleonic civil codes. Everywhere in Europe, in coffee houses and universities, the ideas of liberalism, polit political reform, freedom of speech, and the rights of peoples rather than monarchs are proving again the old proverb that there is no stopping an idea whose time has come. Minorities long yoked under crowns and scepters are waking up to the realization that fate is theirs to make. And across faraway oceans, the riches of Africa and Asia beckon. As the dust settles on Waterloo, Europe stands again at the beginning of a new era, an age of liberalism. So we're going to get liberal agitation, which is going to start giving us um, events which is going to make people more liberal. So we probably don't want that, though. As an absolute monarchy, we of course don't actually have elections yet. So we'll probably deal with these events as and when they arise. Uh, we did not actually get a leader yet, of course, uh, which is something I should have probably noticed, and we can't appoint one in enemy territory. But it looks like Tunis is not actually inclined to attack our troops, at least yet. So we have a leader now. He unfortunately got auto-assigned to, I guess, this stack, and reassigning leaders at war is going to cost us a little prestige. But that's fine, we can get him transported over here very quickly. Secret Society. Liberal, liberal causes have started to gain traction in Annecy. While no one knows for sure, rumour has it that the root cause of this sudden upswing in liberal propaganda efforts is the recent foundation of a secret society. Okay. Whether it be Rosicrucians, Freemasons, or the Bavarian Illuminati, someone is spreading liberal ideas in Annecy. So we can either have liberal agitation giving us extra consciousness for a while, or just have all pops become more liberal. Ugh. That's a lot more liberal than I would like, so I think we'll just gain some local consciousness, which shouldn't be too bad. Okay, with our current treasury, I'm not sure whether we can afford to build a winery yet. No, it cost us 13k. Alright, I think we might want to put our tariffs up to maximum so that we can save up enough money to actually get a factory built. And I think after this occupation I'll fight the Tunisian army and hopefully wipe it out. And then we can reduce our supply spending so that we can stockpile a bit more money. Okay, not actually wiped out yet, so we will pursue it to here. And we have a newspaper. War between Sardinia and Tunis. Yes, we know. Okay, so this hopefully should wipe them out. Which it did. So let's get our spending down a bit. Still no luck on getting enough luxury clothes to get our Hussar built, so these sieges are going to be pretty slow. That is fine, we have basically won the war at this point, so it's just a matter of waiting. So this is going to give us at least one jumping off point for colonization. We're going to probably want to get more though. We might take a province from Sokoto, perhaps, or if we want to go a bit further afield, we could take some land from Oman, which is another good starting point. Fiery Sermon. A local preacher in Annecy has held a fiery sermon condemning several liberal causes. So they lose liberal agitation, which is good. These ships are taking a small amount of attrition here, so we'll probably just get them into port. We're not really going to gain too much from... Oh, 
we uh, won a battle there, apparently. We're not going to gain too much from blockading, so... In fact, they're actually taking attrition over here as well. Lack of maintenance goods, unfortunately. Oh well. If France hurries up and spheres us, we might have a better time at getting the goods we need. So we are about to finish sieging, sieging the capital, and we can head down here. I think the inland provinces here are desert, so we're going to have to split up the army to avoid taking too much attrition over there. So charges rallies. Um, I don't think we want all the pops to become more liberal, so we will kill 1% of them. Have them gain some militancy, I suppose. So for our winery, which is probably what we want to build, we can actually afford that now, so let's get it started. Um, capitalists in their infinite wisdom are trying to build a luxury furniture factory in a different province entirely. One of our lower pop provinces, that's uh, down here, I think. We'll let them keep trying to do that. I think the winery is more likely to be successful, though. So no problem getting the cement. Some machine parts might be an issue, though, it looks like. Again, getting into France's sphere will probably help us out with that. Okay, there we go. We are now in France's sphere, and we are immediately getting the luxury clothes we need and the machine parts. So let's split this army in half and we can spread it out to the two desert provinces. Assuming we can't just get... Oh dear, we're at war with the Ottomans now. Um, assuming we can't just get... Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, a piece immediately. Which, now that we're at war with the Ottomans, seems basically impossible. Alright, well, let's see if we can get an alliance with France since we're in their sphere. And perhaps call them into this war. Since that seems like the only way we can probably win it at this point. Yep, we have an Ottoman army intervening over here and some ships even. So we might want to try to evacuate these troops as quickly as we can since we probably can't fight the Ottoman army. At least we'll give up on these sieges for the moment. Okay, we should be able to call in France now. They are very likely to join. Great. Okay, so this war is turning out somewhat more dramatic than I was expecting. I was kind of hoping for an easy first conquest here, but we're going to be involved in a relatively major war. A new daily has begun circulating. The Herald, carrying hard-hitting political commentary, literary critique, and local news, has quickly developed into a flagship for local liberal politics. Okay, so liberal agitation in three provinces, or everyone becomes 10% more liberal. I guess we'll just take the liberal agitation. Okay. Actually, I'm pretty worried about these Ottoman fleets. I might not actually try to evacuate the army just yet. War between Argentina and Bolivia? Okay. Uh, so with France on our side, we should hopefully have a pretty good time in this war. Assuming they can get some troops into relevant areas. Though we have for the moment lost an occupation here. Oh, in fact there's Ottoman troops on our home soil. Well, we can't allow that to stand. 
Uh, hopefully France can do something about it. We'll give them military access. And let's see what, if anything, they choose to do. Come on, France. Liberal insurrection. We can have pops in Annecy, gain militancy, gain consciousness, and kill 10% of French soldiers. Or have them all gain consciousness. I'll just let them gain consciousness, I think. South Italian Uprising. Uh, let's see. Cagliari has population reduced by 1% and gains militancy, or all pops in Sardinia gain 2 militancy. I'll let them gain some militancy. I think that's relatively low population. Okay, I think we're actually probably safe enough to evacuate our troops from here. Uh, France is moving troops in here to take care of this army, though. So maybe we'll stay around and help them. Maybe we'll see how this battle starts looking. Fiery Sermon, a local preacher in Aosta. So they lose liberal agitation, that's fine. Okay, so I think we probably do want to reinforce this, because I'm not sure I like France's chances, if you'll pardon my inadvertent rhyme. Okay, we did help them win that. So they are helping us siege now. Uh, they're not doing anything about the army up here though. I might want to bring some troops up there myself. Though I don't like the look of this Ottoman fleet. I don't think we can fight that. Okay, agitation is suppressed in Savona. And we have another Ottoman army up here, which I could probably fight, maybe? We should probably get our military spending up now that I think about it, if we're going to be doing any fighting. And it looks like this, France, or this French army is finally on the move, which is great. Uh, we have an alliance offer from the Papal States, which we will of course accept. Uh, let's check out the sphere map mode, actually. See if we can ally anyone else that's in France's sphere. Not yet, okay. But France will probably sphere more nations around here and we can have a better chance of allying them that way. Okay, France is gonna probably win this battle. And they're headed into Savona to take care of this army too. Okay, so more Ottoman troops are in here. We do have a larger army from France on the way though, so I think we're going to be alright. And this battle is won, and they're taking care of the rest of the Ottoman troops. We can come in there and help. Not that we probably need to. Alright, we're at 8%. Only another 80 or so percent to go. We're probably not in any, or not anywhere close to getting a peace settlement on this yet. We got ticking war score once we have all of Tunisia occupied, or once France does at least. But it is going to take us a while. Okay, well, let's leave it here for this first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click the like button. I would really appreciate it. It really helps out with. YouTube search rankings and stuff, especially on the first video in a series like this one. And in any case, join me again next time.